I also want to take this opportunity to answer your other question about how I successfully discuss social media and issues um, analytically, but also with a sense of humor. And so I think those are the way you have to approach every single social issue, um, anything from abortion to gay marriage to um, differing opinions of faith and the role of religion and government. I mean, the list goes on. Um, analytically, everything that I have an opinion on, anything um, that I would have to discuss would always go back to the Bible. Um, that's what's great is even though the Bible is over 2,000 years old, it is completely relevant to what we do today, what we'll do tomorrow. And, you know, it is my compass. It is what guides me. And so analytically to break it down to see, you know, what does God essentially and in, in the Lord Jesus believe about a certain issue is I go to them first because I may have my own opinions, um, but ultimately my goal in life is to honor Jesus Christ. And so with my opinions and with my beliefs, especially if I'm discussing it publicly, with friends um, or on social media, I always make sure I go there first. And especially because at the end of the day, if someone doesn't agree with my opinion, uh, that's okay, you know, and I can always reference back the Bible. Like, you know, this isn't just my opinion, but this is the Lord's opinion. And my ground and my foundation is in him. And yet, you know, the comedic side, it's like, life is hilarious. Life is fun. Um, I think too many people don't realize that life is meant to be enjoyed and, you know, God is meant to be enjoyed. He wants us to do life with him. And so I try to find the humor in every situation, especially if you're discussing something that's, you know, tough or something that you know someone doesn't necessarily agree with you on. I think humor and Comedic relief is a perfect way to just release the tension, you know, get rid of the elephant in the room and just have people come to a common um, understanding and feel. And ultimately, if you're not going to agree, that's okay, you know, and that's what's great about comedy and about just social interaction and, and using, you know, our personalities and making sure we're always speaking in love. And, and, and then the bottom line is that we don't forget that, you know, our opinions are not the most important, that, you know, loving people is the most important thing that we can do and uh, just continue that relationship and to continue to make sure that fellowship is still there.